How y'all doing today? Thanks for stopping by the channel. Today's topic is things that suck about adulting. There's a ton of them. This is a top 10 list. There could be a top 50 list for sure. I'm gonna start off with when's my dog gonna poop? Um, this is a critical thing. You can't make your dog poop, but you gotta take them for a walk. You gotta take them out in the backyard, whatever it is and encourage them to poop. You sound like an idiot. They're gonna poop when they want to. It's one of those things. The next thing is taking care of plants. I have a bunch of plants, some of which I inherited. I don't know, I just can't bring myself to be like, oh, screw the plants. You have to take care of them. I do the best I can. I don't know, do they like it inside? Do they like it outside in the summer? Do they you know, need more water, less water? Is there some kind of magic stuff I can put on them? And there's all kinds of arcane things on the internet. It's just thoroughly confusing to me. So I just end up having plants that look kind of okay or not great or pretty good, but they randomly shift around. So it's hard to say. Number eight is having lists of things and not getting them all done. Um, I love making lists. I make lists all the time. I make a list every Sunday of all the crap that I gotta do that week. Inevitably, there's two or three things or four things or five things that don't get done and they move on to the next week's list. And some of those languish there in this kind of list purgatory for weeks at a time and they sit there and mock me and I make them in different colors and I do all the things. Ah, it's madness. The seventh one on my list is the cable company. For a lot of people, and at particular times, this could be number one. I don't care what cable company it is, they're a pain in the ass. Customer service, I don't know, you call, you email, you do whatever, you've got problems. Somebody's gotta do something about that. Uh, sixth is laundry, which is kind of annoying. It just seems to be there and it grows and then you have to fold it also. I was responsible. I put the laundry in the washing machine. It's done and then I have to go out or I have to take a phone call or whatever. I get distracted. I'm going to have to rewash my laundry again. If you let it sit in the dryer too long, it's going to get all wrinkled. Then you have to put it away. What a time suck. The fifth one um, is more periodically annoying, but it's intensely annoying, is when your bank gets sold. I don't know if this happened to you, God bless you if it does. It's happened to me twice within a two year period. I gotta change all the routing numbers and all the things and change all the subscription things and do all the stuff. That requires me to have a list of a list of passwords with a password protected list. Madness, insane. It was the same way for both of them. Using your health insurance is number four. You know, maybe you gotta go to an urgent care, you gotta get a prescription, you get some blood work done, whatever and then you get a bill for like $900. But if you have insurance, it's probably gonna cover it, but they still send out a bill and the health insurance is like, well, we might cover this. We gotta think about it for a while. And then, you know, you don't wanna pay it right away because, hey, maybe, you know, they're gonna knock some more off of it. And if you're right, then great. And if you're wrong, then you get these letters like, do you have trouble paying your bills? And if you get online, this happened to me the other day, paid off one of the health bills, paid it in full, Two days later, I get a phone call. Hey, um, yeah, the whole payment thing, like, and, and then they mail me a letter and it's like, you guys, like, check your email. I already paid this. You don't get a hold of the person when you call back. Ugh, just really annoying. My third one is a little bit different. Friends who get into MLMs where like somebody wants you to buy kitchen supplies and they put you on a Facebook group or somebody's selling candles, they want you to come to their thing and, and it's just like, oh no. You know, it's kind of like a double thing. Like, oh, what are you doing that for? Like, I'm worried about you personally. And then secondly, like, but that's really, really annoying and I don't want to be on any of those things. My second one is subscription anything. Streaming services, apps on your phone, whatever it is, you have to update them, they don't work anymore or they start charging you more. These things drive me batty. The number one, and this is because of its constancy, the junk mail that comes into your mailbox is just incredible. And some of it, you, you kind of feel like you got to open all of it. Sometimes you can tell like right away, like, oh yeah, no. 
but other things it's like this kind of looks maybe like it's something and then you open it and you know it's something about you know buying an extra car warranty or you know how your uh the 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 pipe that goes to the street is not covered by your insurance and you need more disaster fying in other ways or just junk. No, I'm not gonna sell my house right now. I know realtors myself and actual humans. I bet you could probably clean up the entire environment and all kinds of things by just making junk mail illegal. There are many other things. Here's a bonus one if you have a cat, is cleaning out the cat box. Cat poop and cat pee in a cat box, that's a big deal. And that's major adult annoyance too. So I hope you all have gotten something out of this. There's a bajillion other ones I'm sure you could add to this list. Uh, and feel free to put yours in the comments. I'm sure there'll be some good ones. So thanks for coming by today. If you uh, like the content on my channel, please subscribe. And likes, shares, comments are absolutely welcome. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today. And I hope you have a great one. Thank you.